Lucas Media. Steve Stout was on Club Shay Shay recently. And um, he had some, he was right there dropping some jewels, right? And, you know, for those who don't know, Steve Stout's a businessman. But he helped put a lot of different people on and got everybody endorsements and all of that. But he goes to talk about Shannon Sharp. Let me play this clip. Of course, I got to keep pausing it and explaining it for fair use. But let me play this clip for y'all. This is your show, and I'm proud to do this with you. Because everybody publicly seen what you did. That you knew your worth. You created value, and you knew your worth, and you got what you deserved because you got what you earned. Correct. And if you don't have an opportunity to have ownership, then no matter how good you are, you never feel the impact of your value. Right. And that's why I started Lucas Media. It's like, yeah, of course you make great money in corporate America, but you know, I don't, I don't own it. You know what I mean? I own this. Even close to shout out to all my subscribers and. 200,000 people that's checked me out you know I own this material so I see what he's going with that he also has some things to say about Skip you know what even outside of the digital and I ask you something man I watch your ex-partner your, not your partner your ex-host <laughs> Skip I, I don't even understand why all these other black athletes even go on the show now I, I don't even understand what they're doing it, to me it's so clear that he needs black talent athletes let me pause it right there now yeah skip was skip was out of control what he did with shannon last year we all seen it you know and uh skip feels like he's above everything right he has to realize he needs the culture the culture don't need him and as you and you're starting to see that right now well, you see how Shannon, Shannon and blew up hot as fish grease right now. And Skip, mm, I mean, they said he got, what, 50,000 views now on, on the show? But when Skip, what, did he try to embarrass Shannon Sharp, try to demean his Hall of Fame career, and then you didn't even apologize, you go in there and say, he's my toughest competitor. Where's the man, my bad, I went too far. But let me keep going with what Steve Stout had to say rappers he's doing everything to prop himself up and I, I know he's getting paid over there and everybody else is getting pennies on the dollar and i'm like why would you do that why would you go over there and do that he clearly isn't the guy he needs you why don't everybody lead a show and watch, let's watch him do it for him for a minute that show would be dead and as y'all can see skip i believe now i could be wrong but i believe skip got shannon convince shannon to start a podcast and while i would love to have 140,000 subscribers and we'll get there at some point shannon sharp got what over three million now shannon sharp's making millions offline so it just it just goes a lot of that in my opinion was jealousy on skip's end because shannon blew he just he went up he went completely up after a while on um undisputed but Skip originally was one of the people. Him and Stephen A. had great chemistry. Immediately. They get all these guys over there. They give them pennies on the dollar. And he and they prop them up. I'm like, we got to stop doing that, man. We can't do that no more. It, it's, not, it's not worth it. And there's nothing that comes out of it long term. Except what they benefit from. Well, I like where I am right now, so. And that was Shannon talking about he like where he at. So, so he left Skip. He don't trash Skip, but... It just goes to show you that, you know, they need us more than we need them. And when I say they, or when I say us, I'm talking about the culture. And you see Monique then said this stuck up for Shannon. Steve Stout then stuck up for Shannon. Um, Cat Williams broke the internet with Shannon. And you can see, man, Shannon did say 2024 was going to be the year of the Shay. So, man, shout out to him, man. He got the culture, everybody on the side. He walking through Queensbridge. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Like he he good. Meanwhile, undisputed gonna mess around and get canceled by the end of the year. So I just wanna get my quick quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?